Hi, my name is Tyler Pearson, and my short vlog analysis will refer to Ted Kotcheff's iconic uh, Wake in Fright, uh, in particular how the film uses the barren landscape of the Australian desert as not only a beautiful setting of the film, but also as a subtle yet damaging character in its own right. Um, so in the very first scene of Wake in Fright, the camera performs a 360 pan across the outback of Australia. All that can really be seen is the orange desert with uh, two small house-like buildings and a railroad. This initial shot uh, really helps to place emphasis on the fact that there is hardly anything out there um, except for the dust, heat and uh, flies. It's, only, it's also important to note that when the film was initially released um, and restored, um, the grayness of the camera in this shot was left as it was. Uh, this is super important as it stresses the heat as it helps the camera sort of appear a bit distorted. Um, by doing this, the audience truly appreciates the severity and almost violence of the heat. Um, the film's style of using the landscape to emit feelings of disconnection from the city and intense heat connects strongly with the themes of the story of the film. And um, in regards to the story, the protagonist, John Grant, is struggling to escape from the Yabba in order to reach Sydney. As he finds himself caught in an endless loop of self-destructive behaviour, one thing that remains consistent is the shots of the landscape. So director Todd Kotcheff and cinematographer Brian West work together to remind the audience that Grant is surrounded by intimidating and dangerous desert. Um, there is nowhere for Grant to escape to except the harsh sands. Um, West is able to capture the unforgiving nature of the land whilst Kotchev uh, knows exactly when his audience needs to be reminded of what surrounds Grant throughout the story. Uh, author Ross Gibson writes in Back of Beyond Discovering Australian Film and Television that, the Australia, that in Australian films the Australian landscape is a leitmotif and ubiquitous character. Um, this applies to Wake in Fright perfectly, as the land works as its own character, constantly trapping John Grant in his own self-destructive hell. Um, regarding the themes of the film, the landscape plays an important part in working with the different themes. Um, in particular, the theme of repetition. So every time John Grant meets a new person, um, they ask the same question. You to the other? Yes. Stay along? Grant is also stuck in this loop of getting blackout drunk, gambling, and waking up with a sense of self-loathing despair. Um, so it seems only fitting that Kotchev repeatedly put in vast shots of the near-deserted landscape during these times of despair to fit in with the theme of Grant's damaging cycle of harmful action. You're new to the ever? 